Inspiration for music can come from anything. This piece by Imani Wins, entitled Titi Lyle, was inspired by a former Miss America contender whose mother would sing the opening melody to her when she was a child. Then when she met me, she heard I was a, a rager composer. You know, she said, you know, I have this, this melody that I'd love to hear one day as a full piece of music. So I, I took this melody and sort of you know, elongated it and then put my own sort of you know, salt and pepper on it. Imani Wins is a Grammy Award nominated wind quintet from New York. They came to Iowa City in September 2009 to kick off Hancher's Can't Contain Us series. The group consists of French hornist Jeff Scott, bassoonist Monica Ellis, oboist Toyan Spellman Diaz, and Valerie Coleman on the flute. This performance at the African American Cultural Center marked the 13th anniversary of Imani Wins. The group performed three pieces, Titi Lyo, Scherzo, a classical piece by César Franck, and Umboja, which means unity in Swahili, just as Imani means faith. Arts reporter Sarah Larson previewed the Imani Wins appearances in Iowa City for the Daily Iowan. Well, Valerie Coleman decided to create the group because she wanted to um, have a woodwind quintet with musicians of color, and she wanted something different from the regular woodwind quintet because they do they bring in all types of um, different music. They have jazz. They bring in all kinds of different so sounds like African drums, um, Middle Eastern sounds. They don't stick to the normal classical compositions. Because, uh, one of the things that is very important for Imani Wins is to show the breadth of music, not only uh, possible for the wind quintet, but the breadth of music possible to be performed by African Americans. So we champion not only uh, uh, music from around the world, but also the great works of European composers. During the small, intimate show at the University of Iowa's Afro House, the group members gave insight into how they make their music. Although only Scott and Coleman are the composers of the quintet, all members contribute to the creative process. It's, it's a real democratic way, the way we go about uh, figuring out you know, how, how fast things should go, whether we should even play the music, um, and what, what repertoire we choose. After the performance at the Afro House, Imani Wins held a discussion with University of Iowa music students and performed at the Java House. Their visit culminated with a concert at Iowa City High's Opset Auditorium. The Imani Wins Ensemble was an interesting show for the Java House. It was a little bit different than our normal Saturday or Friday night music events. Um, it drew probably one of the biggest crowds I've ever seen working on a Friday night at the Java House for one of our events. So that was pretty interesting. I mean, we had a packed house in the back. It was standing room only. So. Um, it also drew a different demographic. Usually the demographic for shows tends to be like younger people or like people you know, strictly interested in the music at hand. But it was basically a, uh, it was basically like older people. Though not a woodwind instrument, the French horn complements the rest of the group through its dynamic ability to blend while maintaining its loud, brassy sound. However, Jeff Scott did not always play the French horn. I played the trumpet first, and then he really wanted to play French horn, but he didn't know what he looked, it looked like. <laughs> so his teacher gave him this other instrument called a mellophone and told him it was a French horn. And he played that for a few years. This is true. <laughs> this is true. I'm not making this up. It's true. <laughs> Yeah, and then eventually he realized he was duped. <laughs> Valerie Coleman, however, always knew what instrument she wanted to play. But she doesn't have just any old flute. It's made of 10 karat gold. So a few years ago, I decided to invest in my career. I always say I'll be eating ramen noodles for the rest of the year. Imani Wins is in the middle of its legacy commissioning project a five-year venture celebrating its 10-year anniversary. The 
quintet is collaborating with composers of various backgrounds to create 10 pieces unlike anything it's ever done before. The Legacy Commission project was something they came up with in order to um, basically have new music from all types of different new young artists and just commission new artists to write songs for them and um, it's just basically a project to let them to um, enhance their idea of different music and perform different songs. So far, the Legacy Commissioning Project has included works from Alvin Singleton, Roberto Sierra, and Stefan Harris, whose piece, Anatomy of a Box, premiered at the Iowa City High Performance. As the University of Iowa and Hancher eagerly await the return of Imani Wins, the quintet will continue to broaden their musical horizons and will surely come back with something we've never heard before.